What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy, Soul Blaze, and as always, we're coming back with that content. LC Draft League, SOS, Hybrid Cup 1. We're playing singles, we're playing doubles. This is the singles round robin, and now I'm playing versus my co-commissioner that I've kind of uh, brought in to help me with, the v with his VGC expertise. So this is going to be my team building phase for him and, and battle the battle versus him. Uh, I've already built the team, so we're just going to go over what I'm going to bring for the battle. So as you can see, you have the matchup on the screen, so if you wonder why, we can cross-reference. First up, I'm bringing a choice guard for Rufflet. I believe that I can't run Hustle this week, because I, I hope he's going to lead Cutie Fly. That's going to be the main plot point. So if we lead a Rufflet Cutie Fly and he wants to set up webs, I can uh, dual wing beat and kill him. I got this idea from my very good friend, MGTCP10, uh, also known as Merkit. He did this versus me in the reverse situation uh, in SOS a couple seasons back, and it completely outplayed me. I never saw it coming, so I think it could be a, a nice one to do because he might think that although I can hit him and proc a sash, he can still get up webs, and I'm still at a loss of what to do right now. I have to go hard into Staryu, and that would have to be on the... Uh, it would, it, he can kind of like get get the edge on me he can go shop it and spin block and stuff like that we don't want none of that to happen and ruffle is just a fantastic lead overall it leads well into stuff like growlith because i think it's not going to be intimidating i think it's going to be rockhead and either either one of the stabs is terra and if that happens either i can feel i can see how i'm feeling i can risk the 50 50 to see if he scarf or i can just go for like a scarf clones combat myself but there's also a chance that he might Terra Ghost or something Terra Steel I don't, or I don't know. Like Terra, he has a lot of Terra options. <laughs> so it's a little hard for me to figure out what he's going to do. Uh, so I can either click U-turn, risk the 50-50, or I can hard swap out into something else on the team. Which is going to be devastating, but th that's still the option. It's still one of my best options. The other member, I'm bringing Hano Star, baby. You already know Hano Beach. This is the best encounter you can get in Hano Beach by far, by far. Can't stress that enough. So obviously we're bringing Evil Light, we're bringing Max Speed, we're bringing Special Attack and some defense. He has a lot of defensive offensive pressure through the likes of Scraggy, through the likes of H. Growlith and stuff like that. So we want to make sure we're packing for those. And then we're bringing Rapid Spin. Obviously if he gets webs up, uh, it's devastating. Or if he kind of gets rocks or spikes going or stuff like that, we can just ice uh, Rapid Spin that. T-Bolt is for Shellos and for the Natu. Uh, yeah. So we, we kind of don't want, want Shellos to kind of come in, tank a Storm Drain, and then start doing stuff. Like set up curses in the Crit Me Not set or whatever. Although that's going to be Sticky Hole probably. Uh, it even resists knockoff coming in. So we have to pack Thunderbolt so we don't get completely wiped by that. And then we're bringing Ice Beam for stuff like Toad's Cool and also Natu. So if we're thinking not to Toad School, we can Ice Beam. If we're thinking not to the Shellos, we can Thunderbolt, for example. And even if Toad School come in, comes in on the Thunderbolt, I'm still faster and I can still Ice Beam it straight after. So that's going to be interesting. He might be like Yachi and Spore Me. That would be interesting. But he should know I have Natural Cure as well. So I don't know how well that's going to work for him. But that is an option. Next up, we're going Substitute Dragon Dance Setup Sweeper Wind Condition Scraggy with Lumberry. Substitute is fantastic in this matchup. It would block Scraggy's Intimidate. It would block Growlithe's Intimidate. It would spare me for status for such as Will-O-Wisp coughing and getting slept by Toad School and stuff like that. And I can also tank an additional hit. So if I'm standing on the opposite end of H Growlithe, it, it can hit my Substitute and I can hit it for like a Drain Punch or Knockoff, remove its item and then go from there, which is amazing. And then also, Substitute uh, kind of helps me get a free Dragon Dance up at some point. It kind of helps my Dragon Dance sweeping. And Moxie just makes me go ham, which we really like. We really like that. So it's kind of it's kind of nice in, in, in some sort of sense. Because I feel like he has a lot of status options. And it blocks Intimidate, which is kind of like a core essence of his team. So that's really nice. We're bringing that. And then we have Lumberry for Insurance. Just because then I can, set, I can Dragon Dance... Or, like, I can come in on Toad School, it knocks off my Lumberry, it sees, okay, I can sleep it now, and then I sub on it, and then it tries to sleep me, because it would have negative priority, so it would be slower than me. I set up a sub, Spore fails, I get a Dragon Dance up, and then it's 
from there. You know what I'm saying? Or I could even go for a knockoff in a drain punch and just not DD at all. I could do that as well. It's just a lot of options with, with the set. So Goombag, the shiny Goombag with Lumberries coming this week. We love it. Tinky Winky. Okay, so Eevee Light. I don't know if no one knows this interaction, but Mole Breaker Stealth Rock ignores his Magic Bouncer not to. So I can set up Stealth Rock against anything on his team. And that, I I, I don't care if not is coming in. Uh, we just recently discovered I cannot run Knockoff on Tinka Tink. It's illegal in this format. So instead, we're running Rock Tomb to slow things down, hit for super effective. It's obviously not going to impact the Cutie Fly, but for that, I'm probably just going to... I would have probably just play Rocked anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And the main part is slowing that H Growlithe down or stopping a Dragon Dance Sweep from Scraggy, which are the, the crucial components. I do have play Rock for Scraggy, so I'm not too worried about that, but I will Rock Tomb. H Growl, I will have Rock Tomb on this to make sure where H Growlithe can comes in, which is all, uh, also why it's important to get rocks up early to be able to make sure it takes as much damage as possible uh, and stuff like that. And then still, if Cutie Fly comes in on rocks, then I think Rock Tomb probably has a chance to kill from there anyway. And Encore is just for things like Shellos and stuff like that, so it doesn't completely just sit there and just uh spam stuff versus me it, it's kind of stuck and then i can kind of go somewhere and i'll play it is the point i can either go here or here and start thunderbolting or i can go here and start or here or start dragon dancing if it's spamming amnesia for example and stuff like that so this is the this is a really good stealth worker for the matchup because his his main way of getting past it would be not to and then i just put up rocks and if he chooses to go for a turn to defog that's a turn i can rock to and be faster and then I can force him to swap out. I can get rocks back up. There's a lot I can do there. So it also play rough just hits hard across the field. So that's that's what we're doing here. Looking back at it from a lot of the roles that I see, I feel like 76 does does better. So I think it's maybe better to go for something like this, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Because I did a lot of the calcs for Sakan, and 76 to 156 is going to be very, very few situations. Let me just calc it here real quick. Scraggy baby. Boom bag. Versus. What what, what was I thinking about? Uh, tank a tank. Uh, let's just do this. Play rough 76. It just kills. So we don't need to run the extra pretty much. I think this is fine. So that's going to that's gonna be that. Yeah. We just make ourselves extra physically tanky for stuff like H. Growlithe and stuff like that. Next, we have Shuppet, which is kind of like an anti H. Growlithe thing. H. Growlithe is the scariest thing on his squad by far, and if we get past it, I'm pretty sure we can nab the bag. We can get, we can get it, we can pull it home. So this is Focus Sash Curse Body. So the whole point is Shuppet is going to be the sack versus this thing. If it Terra away from Fire, we can Willow Wisp it. If it has any other status, we can Hex it or just Hex it for decent damage. Uh, this has Knock Off, so we can Knock Off its item and Shadow Sneak for priority if it Flame Charges on me. So the point is, whenever I'm in trouble, I hard swap and chop it, tank a hit, hopefully like Flare Blitz or Head head, uh, head Smash. Curse Body activates, so it can't use it. If it's Scarf, it completely messes it over. It has to come back in on Stealth Rocks, hopefully. Or I can just knock off its item and it's just itemless. Or I can knock off the switch and forcing a uh, girl to switch out. Or if it's like a Flame bo uh, flame Charge, it Curse Body the Flame Charge, and then it's uh, kind of just stuck not being able to set another Flame Charge, and then I can just go like here. And then just hopefully live something and, and go from there. Yeah, so that's going to probably probably be it. Or I can even go here and still be faster because it doesn't have two flame charges. And then I can go for a hard-hitting psychic and then and then kind of take it from there. So that's the that's the main plot point. We do have this as our last member. Thunderbolt for Shellos not to. A psychic for pretty much everything else. Hits coughing. It's a really, really good coughing counter. Infiltrator also kind of ignores Nautu screens, which is really good. I can tr trick Choice Scarf onto something like Shellos or Coughing, which is in the which is insanely good as well. And then we have Play Rough for Scraggy if that wants to come in as well. And, and Trick can also stop it from Dragon Dancing in my face, which could be nice. So even though we might hit it with a minus Attack Nature, minus one Play Rough, it's still it's still right there to, to help it out. I think it's a um, it's it's a good one to have because play off is quad effective so it is going to still do a lot of damage and it can lower attack if i'm lucky so that's that's kind of it that's the team for the battle versus noah the battle will follow shortly uh, featuring future soul 
So I hope you guys uh, will enjoy that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like uh, this content that you're seeing on the channel. And we'll see you soon. Load it up, load it up, load it up. Noah, let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Okay. Uh, um, I see everyone I expected to see. I see no coughing, and I really enjoy no coughing. Okay, okay, let's get it on, let's get it, move on, baby. Uh, please, just leave, cutie fly, man. Come on, bro. I know you wanna, I know you wanna, I know you wanna, I know you wanna, you know you wanna. Lead cutie fly before rocks go up. You have Sash, man, come on. Come on, Sash, Sash, come on. Sash, lead cutie fly webs, come on, baby. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. When I get you, Ricky. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. 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 Shush. Okay. Don't get greedy. Shell loss lead. That's interesting. Shell loss lead is really interesting. What do you do though? Unless you skull burn me. Ice beam does a lot. Okay. I do no damage! <laughs> I could go here and start encoring as well. I kind of like that, actually. I could trick this as well. I'm a U-turn. Doesn't reveal I'm Scarf. Uh, do I go here or do I go here? I definitely go here. This shit... Okay. Okay. That's fine, dog. I'm gonna just trick you real quick. What? This is a. Oh, because it's sticky hold. No, I fucked it. Okay. No, I fucked it. Okay. No, I fucked it. Okay. No, okay. No, you're gonna try and sleep me, are you? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I'm actually bad at the game. So Ice Beam does not kill, and he's just gonna sleep. Me. Ice Beam does not kill. He's gonna sleep. Me. Perfect. Isn't that perfect? Goes back into Shell Loss. Can't knock you off either. Oh. <sighs> How much does Shellaz do to me with Surf, though? He breaks my sub for sure. How much do I do at plus one? Solid chance, but it's a uh, sticky old. Yeah, solid chance to do a kill. I just don't feel like it's the play-doh, you know? Fuck it, I'm gonna go here and spin, man. Cutie fly, okay. Uh, do I spin here? I, I just spin here, bro. Proc your sash. That's fine. Do you die to Terra Scald? Is my question now. Also, that rapid spin did 14%. That ch should check if you're Eviolite. So you are not Eviolite. Terra Scald blows you out the water. I'm gonna spin again. I can't let this shit stay up. Not gonna lie. Moon blast. That sucks. We're gonna tear a water skull here. Kills. Cutie fly down. Okay. That's webs out the way. That's huge. That's actually huge. We like that. We like that a lot. Shell loss comes out. We just T-bolt. We cannot let this sit here and stay and do shit. 
Surf kills her. Okay, that's fine. How much does Rufflet do to this, though? It has 40% HP. Guaranteed Oko. Very poor Brave Bird switch ins, too, I see. Just go here. We just spray Bird. Pack me up, Rufflet. Pack me up. Pack me up. Pack me up. Pack me up. Got rid of the webs. Got rid of the fly. We traded our Staryu, which I don't like. Okay, no, no. That did 50. Come on now, that did 50. Growlithe, Hisui. That did 50 exactly. If he's Eevee Light, there's no chance it ever does 50. This is Scarf. This is Scarf. Or something. I right, pipe me up, whoop me up. It's definitely not Eevee Light. Terra Grass, okay. Head smash sash, baby. And now I get the sneak on ya. <laughs> disabled, baby. That's disabled. And what's gonna happen now? It has to be, it has to be scarf. I go here. I set up a sub and a dragon dance, baby. So Natu does not to get it does not get infiltrator. Not to at plus one. Question is, do I kill everything at plus one? Toad's cool. It could have something to phase me out too. I'd rather just knock off here. Yeah, so it's Colber, right? So you set up a reflect. So I'm gonna dragon dance again. That's basically what I'm going to be doing. Reflect is a good play. Reflect is a good play. It kind of it puts me at neutral now, but at my speed is now now I'm now I got Moxie, so now you're kind of a little bit out the water here. Um so I'm definitely just gonna am I gonna knock off this or am I gonna drain punch this? That's the question. Toad school, earth power, I'm not in that range yet. Even though I don't got yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not in that range yet. I'm plus two uh, no, I'm plus three, plus two. And then it's whatever, because you are here, and then Reflect is up. I think I knock off in a Drain Punch. I definitely do that. That was Colbert, so this is his last turn, so I'm going to Drain. I do drain here, right? I drain for extra HP. There's nowhere he can go. I think this should be it. Either he gives me Moxie. Yep, that should be Moxie. Reflect goes out. I think that's game. Nothing should live here. Shellos, that's knockoff. Dead. Yeah, everything should die here. Drain Punch, dead. And then it's Drain Punch and or Knock Off. It doesn't matter. Hey, GG, Noah. GG. Hey, GG, my man. That's Scarf, baby. <laughs> GG, man. GG's. I messed it up at the start. I didn't know you could trick not sticky hold. I kind of messed it up. But we got back into the game. Perfect, perfect, perfect.
not even brought Tinkatink onto the battle, so the knockoff diff doesn't matter. But that knockoff, uh, that Tinkatink was actually he. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk with Noah. Um, I'm actually gonna just see if he wants to quickly do a, a um, what's it called, post com kind of interview to, to to talk about the battle. So I uh, will be right back. All right. All right. We're here. Thanks for doing this interview with me, Noah. And GG. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, big GGs. Uh, I want to ask you about your thoughts going into this battle with what you had and uh, how you how you feel you uh, how you feel you did because honestly in my opinion i felt like you had the edge on me in the early game i i thought i did so too i really planned well on hazards but honestly i don't think i had a single thing that could stop dragon dance craggy as soon as it like set up yeah right. and i took way too much damage on q to fly early on so i felt like it was not like worth it to keep Q to fly around mm. to kind of like try and tank the fighting in darks from Scraggy laid on and at, like when I lost Q to fly that was the moment where I was like okay now Dragon Dance Scraggy fucks me over and there's nothing I can do about it so let's just leverage the damage and see how much I can take out. Yeah I really I really like the reflect actually I'm not gonna lie I, I really like that that reflect. Now yeah, I, I really did not have any fourth move that I wanted to use on Natu mm. other than the tree I had so I was like you know what I don't care about flying or psychic stab in this matchup. I'm just gonna run reflect just as an extra like add-on for yep. safety against Scraggy. Mm -hmm. Scraggy was definitely the one that fucked up my team the most, mm -hmm. as we have seen. Mm -hmm. So I was I was kind of expecting you to bring kind of like a double intimidate kind of thing to kind of uh, nerf my Scraggy. Because obviously you have yeah, Scraggy. But yourself. I also I, I was figuring like if I bring double intimidate, that also makes me a lot more susceptible to hazards. It does. And uh, I just I just I just did not want to risk that. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd, I'd just try and get an early lead with Hazards, with Stealth Rock and Sticky. Yeah, for sure. Um, but Star, you kind of fucked it up for me. <laughs> right. It's a bulky, slow cutie fly too. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I noticed that um, for cutie fly, I, I guess I can show you this, but it's hitting 15 speed for me because I already had a 16 and a 17 in Toad School and not to. I noticed it didn't really need to a 16 here. And I thought, it, like, if I if I can use Q, like, if I, I have to use Q to fly as a Scraggy counter, then I will have to invest more in bulk anyway. That's that's an interesting one because you're, you're you're thinking I would rather live a hit and dazzle it, or like Moonblast kill it. Instead yeah, because of... if, if Scraggy's Dragon Dance up, I'm not gonna be able to outspeed it anyway. Right. You know. Right. Because that's kind of where, as a, from a singles perspective, because obviously I just play singles. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like uh, the way I I see Cutify usually do it is either you run it with Sash, you run it as mm -hmm. a Sash lead to get up webs, which is what I predicted you to do, which I which is why I had Scarf Rufflet with dual wing beat, because obviously I've been <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was like, he's totally gonna think I'm gonna leave Cute Flying Click Sticky Web. Like I don't like I wasn't thinking of Sash. I had it in my builder once, but. I, mm. I didn't even think you would thought I'd bring Sash, honestly. No, I think I thought you would bring Sash. I was like, Shell is probably the safest lead here and just click Stealth Rock turn one. Yeah, that's that's not a bad play. Uh, I, I was very confused when Trick didn't work on Sticky Hold, but that was completely <laughs> my fault. Um, you thought I had Storm Drain? Or? No, I knew you had or... Sticky Hold, but I thought Trick still worked. No, 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 it just doesn't work at all. Yeah, I, I saw Lighter that. Does <laughs> yeah, not work, so. yeah, for sure, I saw that. Yeah, so the whole thing was... Um, question one, do did you know that my tank a tank with Stealth Rock Mole breaks your magic bounce, so it works on your magic bounce? To be honest, I had no idea Stink a tank could learn uh, Stealth Rock, so... Okay. So that, that's the whole um, point. So I, go, I, I knew go... it had Mole Breaker, so I knew that I had to be a little bit careful with magic bounce there. That's why I didn't bring in Natu that much in the early game, mm. but I was like... Um, but like, what's the worst thing that I think can do? Like, click taunts on me or something? And I was like, I think I can live with that. Like somewhere in mid game, I was like, realizing that, but I didn't realize it had stealth rock. Actually, I didn't research that extensively, apparently. Right, for sure, for sure. Uh, no, so the the thing is, uh, it it blocks your magic bounce, and then I also have encore on it for roost. Oh, so if you I try see. and if, so if you try it, you can't call mine with it. You can't like use U turn or anything. So mm -hmm. it, it's kind of nice to so so my my. My whole plan was hopefully he doesn't know that Stealth Rock Mole Breaker, like he's gonna magic bounce something and then it just works even still. So that was kind of the whole. Uh, again, it does suck losing knockoff on Tinka Tink. Uh, mm -hmm. It didn't hit the field here, so it's it did, does, it, did, it did not matter. So so there was a couple things there. Um, so that that's the first question I wanted to ask if you knew about. And the second one. Well, sort of. Yeah. Answer. Right, right, right. 
So basically, I only brought Shepard as a sack. That's valid, honestly. I, because nothing I have on my team switches into your Edge Growler. Evil Light, Choice Scarf, nothing. Nothing switches in at all. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Scraggy can tank one hit if I have Evil Light. No, uh, Intimidate on it. Mm -hmm. But I was like, okay, so if I bring Shed Skin, there's a 30% chance I can wake out of sleep from Toad School. If I bring Intimidate, that helps versus Edge Growler. But none of them wants to deal with me after one Dragon Dance and potentially a Moxie boost. So I was thinking Moxie just, and then I can have Substitute, yeah. which blocks both Intimidate and the, and the Sleep. And as you can see, that worked that worked wonders. So a Substitute is it was a really, I think was a uh, kind yeah. of a devious. Honestly, I, I don't know the exact damage calculus, but how much would Delium have done if he didn't sub? How much would, would what have done? Delium. I would have killed. I would have killed. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, for sure. It's quad effective. It kills. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Any... Yeah, and Natsu was kind of like my pseudo scraggy counter, as you can see. It's a really weird build. Right, for sure. Uh, I kind of regret sacking my Staryu like I did, but at the, it was at a cost of you not getting st Sticky Web Up. And honestly, if you get Sticky Web Up, I auto lose. So it's kind of a little yeah. bit like... I I that's like why that. I was kind of miffed. I was like, okay, I, I mean, I get Staryu, but at what cost, you know? Yeah. And it, and it just helped me so much that you switched in the Growlithe on the Brave Bird because that let me see that you were Scarf and not Eevee Light. I automatically knew you were Scarf from that, which meant that my Cursed Body strat with Shepard was even better. And thank God it popped off, so I got a free turn, you know? So I mean, just... I would have I would have switched that regardless. Mm, um, yeah. Honestly, because I, like, uh, I would have preserved, rather preserved Growlithe for late game with Reversal versus yeah. Scraggy if, before Ooh. Dragon Dance setups. Yeah, Reversal is hype. Yeah, reversal's hype as fuck. Mm, true. So I would have switched up regardless if the cursed body procs are down. But it did help me decide, like, okay, I really have to fucking switch now. For sure, for sure. Yeah. No, that's um, that's amazing, man. Uh, thank you for playing with me. I, I really, I really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm really terrified when we move into your territory with doubles, because I'm going to be way out of my depth. <laughs> well, I'm curious to see what you can cook up in doubles. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I hope I can cook as, as good as I can here. Um, I did not run Hustle on my Ruffalo, by the way. So if you think that it was lucky that I hit all my moves, it's not. It's no, I figured. Yeah. I, I figured if you were lucky, you'd have missed one break at least. Yeah, and it's it's also just um, uh, Hustle plus Dual Wing Beat makes it have like around, it makes it have 60% accuracy and I'm not about oh, to do that. That sucks. Yeah, so I'd rather just run Sheer Force uh, on that. No, that, that was, was a that was actually amazing, man. Thank you so much for playing and doing cool, this interview with me. I, I feel like I could have probably pulled out more. I don't know. Maybe I, I could have run good. haze on Natsu. I think that like I, I had haze in the builder. Like uh, I should have kept it, I guess. Yeah, no, haze is haze is good. Uh, it depends on what you were planning on hazing with. With Natsu, rather yeah. than like reflect stuff. Yeah, I suppose not to. But that, that's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that could be good. Yeah. Um, I regret not doing it. I felt like Reflect was more multi-purpose. Yeah, for sure. For, for Rufflets and stuff like that too. But, I think yeah. you brought a really it good, is. a really good Toad School set too, and and using it in a way that's really good for, what's it called? And not using an Evil Eye slot. I think you, I think you managed that very well. Yeah, sadly or very thing proc, but it is what it is. Mm, right. Yeah. Because it got knocked off. Yeah, and the sticky web thing, the sticky web part is QG fly so fast that if you have sticky web up, it actually just starts to outspeed things and be bulky, which is really scary. So I like that too. You're really innovative. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I can I can see the thief after a Culver Berry too. Um and the deagling for the scraggy. I don't know how that much. That was my whole plan. That, that, was, that was literally my whole plan with Natsu. I was just like, I have to be like a pseudo scraggy counter because mm. I don't want to sack any other mons for that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My only Hope, uh, my only gripe is, for for example, um, the the teleport. I don't know how. Uh, I would probably just rather use U-turn there. Maybe. I guess it's valid because I, I just, because I, I kind of invested in bulk in that too. So I was like, I would rather uh, like if this if something else is in, I would rather have this take a hit mm. and get something in safely. For example, pursuing gravelite mm. rather than pursuing gravelite take the damage. Right. That was my thought process. But in the end, like how the matches worked out, your turn would have probably been better, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
But you, you, you really, you really brought on the pressure early, and then I just made a mistake on top of that. So I was really had to claw my way back and try and go for like a hard gambit. That's usually, usually you'll see that in singles players um, that have played the game for a long time. If they are behind, they'll start doing some really crazy plays just to try and bring me back. Because once you're on the back foot and you don't start to do anything, you just drown yourself. Yeah. It's kind of like you're pushing against the tide. So, so that's something that you can. Uh, uh, like a desperate play is something to. to I mean, that's, we have desperate plays in VGC too. That's not, <laughs> not different. That's not different whatsoever. No, so no, no, fair enough. Fair I, enough. I, I totally get that mindset. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not trying to go for like a critique for from any uh, higher standpoint. No, or critique anything. me, please. I want to get better at this format. Mm. Uh, if if I'm if I'm looking for something, I I, I guess. Well, what was Shedskin Scraggy for? Shedskin was, it, I kind of prepped for Fungus too. Fungus, right. It's just, I will never bring Fungus when you have not to. I mean, I guess it's valid, but I still wanted to prep Fungus, prep for Fungus, you know? That's why I also have uh, like Kibia Berry on Q to Fly. Right. So I would live a Sludge Bomb. And like, I, this for the same reasons that I'm bringing Substitute Scraggy for your Intimidates and your Sleep, you could bring Sub for my Intimidate and my Sleep too. So that's something- I mean, I guess it's valid. Because I think a Moxie, I, like the same mo the same Scraggy that I use versus you, if you use that versus me, I think I'm in trouble too. So <laughs> I mean, I guess it's valid, yeah. So for sure. Yeah, uh, good points. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I really liked uh, some innovative innovative stuff here. I really did. Reversal really did. Growlithe, let's go. Reversal Growlithe, man. Shame it didn't see that. Shame it didn't get the, get the click in. But you were low HP there. So, yeah, I was 16%. I was like, oh shit, but it's Craggy's 2 plus 2 speed, so it's gonna outspeed me regardless. Yes. At plus 1, I would have outspeed, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm well aware of that. Yeah. Which is why I also have uh, Esper as the scar as a Scarfer too, so, which is 17 speed, which is faster than you again. So I could just yeah. Scarf Psychic there or Scarf Thunderbolt. I also had minus attack and was ready for a minus 1 pl player up to Scraggy. It still does like 40% <laughs> and has a chance of attack drop, so. It's very interesting. No, but that's going to conclude the team build, the battle, and the post interview. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to Noah for doing this with me. I really appreciate all the help that you've put in for my dear little Little Cup League and getting this format up and going. So big shout outs to you, Noah. Go check his stuff out. Uh, we'll put him and, and shout him out in the description. So go drop him a, uh, some love and, uh, and a follow. And I'll see you guys for the next battle of the SOS or whatever I choose to do next. This has been your boy Soul Blaze, and as always, see you guys next time. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, and I'll see you guys next time.